Today, I will give you a detailed explanation of the poem Rain on the Roof, written by Kurt Skinny. I will explain the summary first, then the word meaning, after that figure of speech, that is the most important one. So let's start. Kurt Skinny was an American lawyer, journalist, politician, and a poet. And Rain on the Roof is one of his popular poems. What happens here? In a dark night, the poet is in his cottage chamber, lying awake on his bed a comfortable bed and at the time the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining and the sound of the raindrops coming from the rooftop echoes in the heart of the poet the poet thinks that the healing power of the rain took him to his childhood days and a thousand dreamy fancies, memories, imaginations start coming to the poet. One of those memories comes his mother when such a night when the poet was with his other siblings he saw his mother cast a fond look at him so all these things happen when it rains. Now, let's see. Line-wise, the meaning, the word meaning, and the figure of speech used in the poem. The humid shadows hover over all the starry fears. When the humid shadows, humid means what? Vapor, water vapor. And shadows here refer to the clouds. Hover means move gently, slowly. So what happens here? When the clouds full of water vapors move, where do they move? Over all the starry fears. Starry refers to the stars. And spheres. That means a region where something is active. And where are the stars active? In the sky. So, the meaning of the first two lines of the poem is when the clouds full of water vapor slowly and gently moves in the sky, what happens then? And the melancholy darkness, melancholy, that means sad. Darkness, it is the time of night. So all around, there was thick darkness. So melancholy darkness, darkness is here personified. That's why it seems the darkness is sad. And what happens then? Gently weeps in rainy tears. As the darkness is sad, it is weeping in the form of raindrops. The tears are rolling down. After that, what a bliss to praise the pillow. Bliss means utmost joy. To hug the pillow. 
because the poet is in his cottage chamber and on his bed cozy bed soft comfortable bed place the pillow of a cottage chamber bed because he is the poet is in his cottage chamber and on his bed on the soft bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead and the poet is lying awake and listening to the patter sound means raindrops sound of the raindrops that was coming from the overhead means from the rooftop so let's see the poetic devices are used in the first stanza look here humid shadows humid shadows it is transferred epithet transferred epithet what is transferred epithet at first you have to understand that transferred epithet is a poetic devices in which an epithet or adjective grammatically qualifies a noun other than a person or a thing that it is actually describing i think you have an understood let's see the example here humid that is the property means water vapor is the property of what clouds but here it is transferred to the shadows because humid or humidity or water vapor is not the property of the shadows but it is here it is the property of the clouds but it is here transfer to the shadows that's why transfer to the but humidity is actually described to the cloud so here shadows refer to the clouds because humidity or humid is a quality or property of clouds understood same another example you can take melancholy darkness melancholy that means that darkness cannot be said melancholy that means what i said sad and sadness is not the quality of darkness is the quality of human being so what happens this darkness or sad is the quality of the poet perhaps he perhaps of his overwork he was tired he was sad and at the time it started raining and the rain drops had the healing power which transformed the poet's sadness into the enjoyment of joy that's why so melancholy that is the as i told sad and sadness cannot be the property of the darkness it is the property of the human beings but it is transferred to darkness that's why it is transferred with it understood another one let's see darkness gently weaves in rainy tears is personification because here darkness is considered to be a human being who is crying what is personification personification and what is personification personification is a figure of speech where the human qualities are attributed on some non living thing and here it is done so and the thing is also you can get here humid hover that hover sound is repeated consonant sound that means what alliteration alliteration and alliteration is a figure of speech where the consonant sound is repeated in a line or in a sentence and here 
two times ha sound the consonant sound is repeated so that is the all about this first stanza i think you got it now let's see the second stanza every tinkle on the cymbals tinkles means what tinkles means ringing sound on the cymbals that means rectangular wooden tiles set on the sloping roofs has an echo in the heart that means what the raindrops are falling on the cymbals means tiles and that sound of the raindrops uh, is echoing in the poet's heart and a thousand dreamy fancies imagination thousand dreamy fancies means uncountable fancies means imaginations into busy being start busy being is referred to the poet start means those thousands means uncountable fancies are coming to the busy being means the poet he remembers about his past many things because of the raindrop now and a thousand recollections means memories remembrance so thousand recollections means uncountable memories what happens with their air trade to roof means they are coming as if thought those memories are entwined or woven into a fabric roof means fabric roof that is fabric as i listen to the patter as i means a poet listens to the sound of the raindrop and that sound is coming from his overhead means roof so of the rain up on the roof roof means where the singles where the singles are set that means the rectangular tiles wooden tiles let's see the poetic devices as an echo in the heart a thousand dreamy fancies thousand dreamy fancies it is hyperbole what is that hyperbole that is exaggerated the statement it is also a device poetic device where a statement is exaggerated here look a thousand dreamy fancies did the poet count it no fancies you cannot count it imaginations you cannot count it and what happens same here a thousand recollections that all that also is hyperbole here also it is exaggerated and busy being alliteration busy bo sound is here repeated busy being alliteration alliteration busy being alliteration bo sound is here repeated it's also a figure of speech where the consonant sound is repeated into a sentence here also can happen same and here look here a thousand recollections weave their air trade into oof that is the whole itself is also metaphor metaphor is a figure of speech where something or a quality is being compared with some other here what happens the poet's imaginations is compared to the colorful threads that is woven in a hand loom or loom but here it doesn't happen so that is it is metaphor so that's all about the second stanza now in memory comes my mother so 
among those thousands of memories, imaginations, the poet remembers his mother. As he used in years agone. Agon means what? Many years ago. By gone means many years ago. So what happens? The poet remembers his mother as she, which the poet's mother used to do. What? To record the darling demons. To record means observe. The poet's mother used to observe whom the darling dreamers. Who are the darling dreamers? The poet and his brothers and sisters, means siblings. On such a rainy night, the poet's mother used to observe the poet and his brothers and sisters, means siblings. Here she laid them till the dawn. You know, mean before. Before. She left them till the dawn. That is what? The poet's mother knew that she would not see them again till the next morning. That's why the poet's mother was just looking at them. For the last night, for the last time of that night. And what happened there? Oh, I feel her fond look on me. And the poet remembers that how, a, a, how an affectionate look the poet's mother cast on him. As I list to this refrain. Means what happened the poet remembers now? When? When the refrain means the patter sound, repeated patter sound of the raindrops is echoing in the heart of the poet. Which is played, played upon the singles by the patter of the rain, which is played. When? Where? It is played, played means the sound is coming from the singers with that tiles set on the roofs. And by the pattern of the raindrop. Rain. That means by the sound of the rain. That is coming to the poet's heart. And the poet remembers whom? His mother. On such a rainy night, his mother he used to be there and cast a for look at the poet and his siblings. Here the poetic device is used, darling dreamers. Darling dreamers. That is a metaphor. Metaphor. What is a metaphor? A metaphor is a device where a quality or something is compared to something that is unlike. Here, darling dreamers, that means poets, brothers and sisters. But how does this? Perhaps the poets, brothers and sisters were asleep and they were in sweet dreams. So, these darling dreamers refer to the poets, brothers and sisters. That's why it is metaphor. So that's all about this poem. I think you understood it well. If still you have any problem, you may write in the comment section and definitely I will reply it.